Jay McCall reporting live here. We're at Andy's Roadside Dive over in, uh, I don't even know, Mount Arlington Center, um, somewhere in out west New Jersey, out by Landing, New Jersey, by Ledgewood out there, Roxbury Township. Uh, so we got two hot dogs here. So I was originally, um, this might be a double feature episode. We were originally going to stop by Cliff's Ice Cream, and there was a place next door that we've been going to when we visit Aunt Michelle's up here, and uh, up by beautiful Lake Apakong. Um, Cliff's ice cream, great ice cream there. Maybe we'll see a little bit of that later. Um, but there's a place next door called Sobretti's Hot Dogs and Wild Game Sausages, which, if you know anything about my background, was incredibly intriguing to me just on the, the name only. Unfortunately, they were closed today. I didn't trust Google. I drove out there anyway. They were closed. Um, so popped on Google to search for hot dogs in the area. Andy's Roadside came up. It was a 4.9 out of 10. It looks like it was originally a, just a little cart, a little shack, and now it's a, they're at the end of this little strip mall here. Really excited about what I can't wait to get to the menu here, but I just spoke to the proprietor. Actually, start out, he took over the business from a friend and just started tweaking the menu, started adding some crazy toppings, and now it's like one of these places where you go in there, the menu's just incredible. It's like 15 different hot dogs. So the thing that immediately caught my eye, they had a Doritos dog with some sour cream and jalapenos, and this is with Fuegos Takis with some sour cream, um, some Naga chili sauce on here, uh, or Naga Viper, I believe. And uh, it's got some, it looks like it's got multiple flavors of Takis. You got the green ones and the red ones, Fuego. And then just a regular, just for the baseline comparison, mustard, uh, chili, homemade onions dog. Uh, so we're gonna do both of these. There's no way I'm finishing these, gonna be honest with you. Uh, so we brought some Tupperware, thank you Aunt Michelle. And uh, so let's get down to business here. So I'm gonna start with the, the more, let me, let me start with the basic here. Maybe, maybe we'll also end on the chili dog. This is the basic chili dog, homemade chili, homemade onions. They asked if I wanted uh, raw or sauteed onions. Got the sauteed once I found out they were homemade. That is a delightful chili dog. I use that word a lot, but there's nothing wrong with this. They also have a traditional Chicago dog on the menu. Mm. Really the perfect mustard for this. Um, little courtesy trays here, have some ketchup. I don't know why you would use that, but um, it's, a, it's a yellow little spicy mustard. Uh, could be Golden's or the fact that it came out of their own squeeze bottle just makes it taste better. The onions are, are, onions are really good. It's not the kind... Oh, they're sweet as well. Usually, I don't expect a sweet onion. To be honest with you, usually you get the um, kind of the classic, like, Sabret-style onions, and they're chopped up. It's more saucy, but these are, like... These are these are substantial onions here. Like, they're, they're kind of falling off the dog there. I, I like that a lot. Um, now I'm going to move into... Maybe this is the blue sour cream, and it looks like there's also some cheese, nacho cheese, on here. Now, this is impressive, and this is what gave me pause. Now, I think one of their most popular items here is the, the pig dog, which I think is pulled pork. And that I knew going in, like, even if I split two dogs, like, I, I can't budget for that. We just had a Fiori's roast beef for lunch, so I'm really, I'm on borrowed time here as far as eating out. But let's see the, the, the Fuego dog. Let's see how this is. This is, this is going to knock me on my ass, I'm sure. That was, ooh. And there's that, not, there's the Naga sauce coming in from, from, from the flanks. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's. It's not overpowering in a, it'll make you stop in your tracks, but it's, it's not going it's, to, it's, it is playing nicely with the rest of what's going on here. I mean, the Fuego, we love Fuego's, Takis Fuego's, they're delicious. I mean, the, the trick there is to eat enough that you enjoy it before you feel like crap for eating the entire bag. Um, that's why I recommend Costco sells the little, you get little uh, individual portions in the bags there and it's a, a perfect size, maybe one or two of those. Um, but this, you get the cheese, the, the sauce, it's not overpowering. You still get the hot dog in there. So I'm concerned when you get like pulled pork on a hot dog, maybe there's just too much. Oh. That, that bite was all topping. Let's get some dog in there. Oh, that was, that's excellent. Um, the sour cream really helps mitigate some of that, that heat. And you can't go wrong here. I think everything on the menu looks excellent. Um, so I think we'll, we'll definitely have to come back here and try some of the other stuff here. But uh, Jay McCullough reporting live, uh, Andy's Roadside Dive. Jay McCullough reporting live. I'm at Cliff's Ice Cream over in Landing, New Jersey. And uh, Cindy sent me out for a little excursion while she takes a nap, does some grading. Uh, we're spending the weekend at Michelle's house this time. Um, Cliff's Ice Cream, homemade ice cream, uh, open year round. Um, Cindy, big fan of the butter pecan here. Uh, what I got today, she asked me, she said, Jeremy, just get me the coffee, pick another flavor. So I went with, uh, we got coffee on the bottom here, and we got a mint chocolate chip on top. And now, look at the menu. That is a good mint chocolate chip. That is really nice. These are all homemade flavors. 
I'm going to poke into the poke into the um, the coffee down there. Now they also have soft soft syrup. This is their this is their hard ice cream, but you'll see it is very soft. This is a natural homemade churned but churned ice cream. And the coffee is rich. It's um, it's very consistent. You're not going to get specks of coffee in there, but it is a, the coffee flavor through and through. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a good amount of caffeine in here. I noticed they had regular chocolate chip on the menu. Why why bother? Get the mint chocolate chip. It is a strictly better upgrade. Borrow some Magic the Gathering terms there. Strictly better. And there's just a good amount of chocolate chip there. Um, I would also have been happy with the cookies and cream. I think that would play nice. Maybe pistachio. There's some flavors, you know, you don't want to pile on top of coffee. But I feel these two do work really well. They also have a matcha green tea. Which, I don't know, this, this far out West Jersey, if I trust what they're going to do with matcha green tea. Because, I mean... Chinese food places are a few and far between. You got maybe some su like Chinese combo sushi places that maybe serve matcha green tea. I, I don't know if I would trust an ice cream parlor to do matcha green tea. Um, it's due diligence, but but the manufacturing of the ice cream itself here, absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend. And year round, so I drove by just a bit earlier trying to go to Sobretti's Hot Dogs. I mentioned the previous segment they were closed. Uh, I decided to come back because it is it is hot out here. I'm, I'm eating this in the back seat of our CRV and. Um, it's got to be pushing 90 here. Um, I don't know. So this, this ice cream is not long for this world. We're going to try and get it home quick, Cynthia. Make sure it uh, stays stays cold at home. We got a little lid here. But Clips ice cream. Open year round. Come. If there's a line, it moves quickly. Form a line at every open window. Don't recommend the egg creams here. I had one last time. Wasn't really impressed. I don't think they were using U-Bet. But other than that, I mean, if you're coming here, you're coming here to get the ice cream. So award winning. Don't know who gave that out, but since 1975. Jim Cole signing off. Stay cold out there. It's going to be a rough weekend. Bye-bye.